Sir John Bethran Gordon was born on 2nd October 1933. As a young boy, he did very poorly in school. Gordon attended Edinburgh and the Eton College, where he ranked last out of 250 boys in his year group at biology and was in the bottom set in every other science subject. Gordon's school performance was so poor that a schoolmaster wrote a report about him, stating, I believe he has ideas about becoming a scientist. On his presence showing, this is quite ridiculous. However, even though the whole world believed John Gordon's dream of becoming a scientist was impossible, he ended up being a very successful scientist and won the Nobel Prize for Biology, the same subject he filled more than anyone in the year 2012. You see, Leonardo DiCaprio said, The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Like John Bethran Gordon, there will always be many people who don't believe in you. Like John Bethran Gordon, there will be a time in your life when certain people will write you off. Like John Bethran Gordon, a time will come in your life when you will look at yourself and see yourself at the bottom. What most people do in a time like this is to see those obstacles or opinions of others as a reason why they can never achieve their dreams. Listen to me, young people. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. The only single thing that matters is what you keep telling yourself about such things. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. In the year 2005, the National Science Foundation published an article summarizing research on human thoughts per day. It was found that the average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. Of this thousands of thoughts, 80% were negative and 95% were the same repetitive thoughts as the day before. Think about this for a moment. You and I are talking machines, literally. We talk every second of the day, but we do most of our talking to ourselves through our thoughts. While talking to ourselves isn't a bad thing, 80% of what we say to ourselves is negative, and we repeat this day after day, every day of our lives. That's why an average man is screwed. You're not screwed by the economy or by poverty. You're not screwed by the government or your disabilities. You're screwed by your thoughts. It's your daily, constant thoughts that make you believe that you can't achieve your goals. It's your daily, constant thoughts that make you believe that you can't be rich in your country. It's your daily, negative thoughts repeated day after day that makes you believe that all the opportunities in the world have been monopolized by some people. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Proverbs 23 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Every single thing I have achieved with my life, there are always people who told me a million reasons why I should not even try. When I announced that I wanted to become the best student, it was one of my best friends who told me that I couldn't. When I announced that I wanted to build a company, it was my only brother and lovely family members who told me that I was a dreamer. Even when I wanted to get married, my father-in-law prophesied that my marriage would have a problem. In all these cases, I proved the naysayers wrong, but it wasn't that easy. It's not easy to prove people wrong because they're right. Yes, they're right. You see, whatever you want to achieve with your life, there would be so many obstacles on your way, so much that the reasonable thing to do would be to throw in the towel. And that's why I said that your critics would be right. If you pay attention to your obstacles, then the reasonable thing to do would be to complain, make excuses, allow the negative thoughts to dominate your mind, and give up. The trophy in the game of life belongs to the people who know how to ignore the realities and go blindly after their dreams. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. The reason why you're poor is that you secretly believe you can't be rich. The reason why you're overweight may be because you believe you can't be slim. The reason why you're whatever you are today can almost always be traced to what you decide to believe in the past. Dr. Ruplin said, If you have a dream, don't just sit there. Gather courage to believe that you can succeed and leave no stone unturned to make it a reality. Gather the courage to believe that you can succeed and you'll succeed. The only thing standing between you and your goal is a story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Thanks for watching. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur, and you can join my channel right here on the screen or at the description below. I love you.